Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a series that has been highly requested and that is how I study for exams. So just a disclaimer before I start, I am not saying that this is how you must do your own exam revision. These are just the tips that have helped me personally get top grades on my final exams in high school and they're just meant as tips that you can feel free to incorporate into your own revision if you feel like they may work for you. So with that being said, let's start exam revision. So the first thing I do is set up an exam study schedule. I tend to start my revision about a month before exams start as this is the time when my classes have tended to finish going through the syllabus and started preparing for exams. I make my study schedule in Word using just a simple table and my study schedule is two pages. So on one page is my calendar where I just have one square for each of the days leading up to the exams as well as the exam weeks. On the second page, I have one column for each of my subjects. So during this gap year, I'm only taking one course, but I just included a few more to illustrate. So I separate each column into two and make these bullet point things that I can eventually cross out. And that is it for how I make my timetable. So then I just print it and I am ready to fill it out. For me personally, what works best is to have one type of revision for each subject that is my top priority. So for math, which I'm studying this year, and the other sciences, my preferred type of revision is doing past papers. So I start by writing down all of the past papers that I want to complete before my exam. Then I also write down other types of revision material that I would like to complete, but again, this is not my top priority. The next thing I do is that I schedule my top priority revision. So here I've color coded the past papers based on which week I would like to complete them. As you see, I don't schedule very much for each day and nothing for the weekends. This is because it gives me time to be flexible, which is very important when it comes to exam planning because unexpected things will happen so it's important to take that into consideration and give yourself a bit too much time rather than not enough time. It's also important to be realistic with how much work you'll be able to get done. So this year I only have one exam so I'm aiming to get through one five hour past paper on each study day but on normal years, I'll have several exams and then I might schedule even less every day because I don't want to be rushing through everything when I'm revising. And the reason why I haven't scheduled anything for the weekends is so I can use them to catch up on work if I have any or just revise my weakest topics. So then I just make sure to put my study schedule where it's easy for me to see it. So, sorry periodic table, you're gonna have to be number two for a while. So on each day of revision, I start by doing past exam questions or whichever type of revision that I've chosen as my top priority one. And then I use my other revision material that I wrote down to study what I struggled with. And this is why I didn't schedule my other revision material. I do past papers to practice the entire syllabus and then afterwards I work extra on the topics that I'm not that confident in yet. So after I'm done with the past paper of the day, I will mark it and write down the topics that I struggle the most with. So those topics will be the ones that I'll focus on for the rest of my study session and the rest of this video will be the different ways in which I revise. The first way is the simplest way, just doing practice questions on topics that I struggle with. So I tend to start with the textbook questions as I'm likely to have done them before and therefore don't find them as hard. And then I do questions from the revision material on my study schedule. And good places to find revision material might be to ask your teacher or professor or on the website of your textbook or your exam board. 
practice questions might not be the best way to revise for all subjects though, especially not for essay-based ones. So another revision method I use for all types of subjects is making mind maps. A good way to get some quick revision is to make mind maps based on specific textbook chapters that you struggle with. I might also use these subchapters as a helpful guideline, as well as my own study notes in case there's something that I have a hard time remembering. If I'm a bit more confident on a topic, I might make a mind map based off of the curriculum. The topics here are often a bit broader and they're also directly related to your exam. And again, I don't spend time revising and making mind maps on topics I already feel like I know well, but making mind maps on your weakest topics is a good way to recall the basic information. And the mind maps are also very helpful to have when doing some light revision on the last days before your exam. I also use the curriculum to test myself, and this was my main way of revision in high school for essay-based subjects like Norwegian and history. So I write down the different points of the curriculum on post-its and then I just randomly pick a few topics that I then either talk or write about on a whiteboard. And this is also a good way to revise with friends as you can quiz each other on the topics and you also learn from hearing your friends talk about their topics. Finally, the last way I revise is for those days when I'm feeling tired and not that motivated, which is likely to happen during a long exam season. And I just find it very helpful to watch video lectures, and because I've already gone through the material, I can speed up the videos to get some quick revision. Some of the sites I used the most in high school were Khan Academy and Crash Course, as well as Campus Increment, which is a Norwegian website. So that is it for my first exam study video. I hope this was helpful and that you'll enjoy this series. So I just wish you a lovely week ahead and the best of luck on your revision. And I'll see you in a week with another exam tips video.